Hey guys, so Joe here, and uh, I want to take some time. I, I know probably a lot of you saw the article, uh, email maybe that I put out there a while back about the Ascension or Value Ladder, but I wanted to do something special for my Blueprint members and actually go through all the details of uh, what I call the Ascension Ladder, uh, also referred to as the Value Ladder. First and foremost, the concept of this is really crucial to um, any business, but especially in the insurance industry. I know it just made a huge difference for my agency, and when I started implementing this, it just was something for myself and my staff to be able to follow on a daily basis. Okay, so it's something that gets us all on the same page to understand what our end goal is for a customer. Okay, and it's something we use to this day. Um, so what I want to go through today is number one, really the theory behind it, why it works, uh, how to set it up and how to use it uh, to your advantage and be able to just take every single customer you have and make them your ideal client. All right, so first things first is why do this at all? Now the Ascension Ladder essentially is taking a customer from, from ground level one and making them uh, trust you with everything to ensure um, you know their auto, their home, life insurance, commercial or business, financial services, or, or whatever else you might offer. Um, the the main thing, the the first thing that you have to figure out is what do you want the top thing your customer to buy is. What what do you want that to be? So if you had um, a good way to answer that is you had a customer walk through your door and you know they'll say yes to anything you ask them okay you, you don't even have to hard close it or anything you, they'll say yes what's that one thing you'd want them to say yes to okay now in in my agency uh, because of the goals i had to hit it was financial services and investments so i knew that was the number one thing uh, that's what i aspired to have every customer work up to was the financial services okay um, and then second would be life insurance and then so on and so forth. Uh, really the main thing though, and, and you'll see why in a minute, is figuring out that top thing. Once you have that top thing, we can work down from there. So um, obviously you see the board behind me, so let's, first I'll show you how I kind of set it up and then we'll go through the uh, process of it and then how you and your staff can work this. Okay, so it really is a, a ladder. It's an Ascension ladder. And I, I work it from the top down. So if your number one thing, like me, was financial services, that's what I put up here. Okay, so you got financial services. That's what I knew I wanted every customer to get to. Okay, so then you start thinking, how are we going to get them there? How are we going to get this customer to uh, financial services? Okay, so obviously they walk off the street and they don't know you. You're not going to be able to sell them a $100,000 investment. That's just not going to happen. So once I establish this top thing, I go all the way back down to the bottom and say, how do we start? Most uh, insurance companies, 99% of them start with auto insurance. So that's how I know I had to start, and that's how you have to start too. So uh, if we say, okay, we got to start selling auto insurance, what's the first thing we need to do to sell auto insurance? We need to quote them, right? So the, the bottom ring here is going to be a quote, all right? So quoting was number one. I knew I had to quote them somehow. And there's a lot of different marketing ways that obviously I've gone through on, on how to get quotes. but. The, the other thing with the Ascension Ladder is you always want to uh, offer something of value for free. Okay, that's my theory. It's always worked for me. Uh, I call it a freemium. Uh, a lot of people call it that a freemium or a freebie. Whatever it might be, you want to do something that will get them in the door, give them something of value for free. One thing that's worked great for us, especially because uh, I work for a franchise, was we could buy at really cheap cost uh, just... You know, I, I call it free swag, but just different things, roadside kit, emergency kits, and, and package it up and, and just be really creative with it. So, you know, we did something actually called a survival kit. I don't know if you guys can see that little little writing I have there. So we do a survival kit, and what that survival kit has in it has like a flashlight, water canteen, comes in a bag, um, first aid kit, and it's something you put in your advertising saying, hey, come in, you'll get a free survival kit. Uh, valued at twenty nine ninety nine. Now, now, granted, you didn't pay that for it because obviously, all the ready, you're thinking we can't incent to quote more than a couple of dollars, depending on the state you're in. It's it's how much you spent on it. So, if you spent only ten bucks to make the thing, you can put any value on it you want to. Okay, so don't don't let that hold you. I find too many people get held up in little details like that. So. Uh, generally, if you're with a franchise, okay, a state farm, an all-state nationwide, you can get this stuff pretty cheap in bulk. All right, so each kit 
only probably cost you seven to ten bucks to put together. All right, but together, you, you know, as, as one kit, you can put a value of 30 bucks on it. So anyway, back, back to my original point, free swag, survival kit, roadside kit, um, anything you can really think of, you know, come and get that and get your, get your free auto quote. Okay. So that's where it all starts. We know that. All right. So that's a good way to get them in the door. Uh, the next hope is they're buying auto insurance from you. Okay. So we get the auto insurance and that's where a lot of it stops. Um, we know about cross sell opportunities. I get that. We always tell our staff to look for these if they have auto and no home, make sure they bring up home insurance, um, you know, bring up life insurance if you can. But really what we have to realize is there's a purpose to this. Us as an agent, we know that, okay? We, we get the grand scheme of everything, but your staff members might not get that. So showing them this ladder saying, you know, we have auto and that's great. We want to hit auto numbers. We want to have policies, okay? We, we do want to have a quantity of those policies. But we have so many more levels to go before we hit our end goal with every customer. And so that obviously moves up to home insurance. And even that I find a lot of staff stop. You know, they'll see auto and no home or no renters. And, you know, they'll might, they might ask them about it or there might be a quote out there. And they might even sell it. And then that's where that might stop. Okay, but there's other levels. So making your staff understand that you need to go from a quote process to an auto property and then obviously the life and then financial, having them see this every day and developing a plan where they understand exactly where every customer they come into contact with, where they are in this ladder is gonna be huge going forward. So now if I have a staff member that's even unlicensed and customer comes in to pay their car insurance and they don't have home insurance or there's a home quote out there maybe, instead of just saying, oh, I, I see you don't have your home insurance with us uh, you have we ever quoted you? Well, no, I'm not really interested right now. They know that the customer is probably right here in that Ascension ladder. Okay, so the next question is what do we have to do for this specific client to move them up into that part of the ladder? Okay, um, and, and I know it seems silly, but that's a nice tangible way to do it and so on and, and, and so forth. So once you get their auto, you get their property, get their life or their, their commercial business and then up to financial. All right. And uh, this is something that I always reviewed with my staff, and I just always ask them, you know, whenever you see a customer or come in contact with them, uh, just figure out where they are on the ladder. And if you don't know what to do with it, you know, I, and I tell my staff this, if you don't know where to go from here, just come ask me or ask, you know, if you have somebody above you, ask them. You know, I have a customer at this part of the ladder, so what do I do? Uh, having this in your agency, keeping this in front of you and having it, uh, you know, relate to, to your business, your customers and translating to your staff can be huge, all right? But you gotta realize it's a succession. You can't just go for the juggler. How many times have you had a customer come in and you bam, sold them auto, home, and life insurance? Might happen once in a while, but it's rare. Okay, so having something like this can be huge, but it all starts here with getting them in the door with something for free, right? And then the end goal is up here. And every single customer needs to go up. That's why I have this big arrow here, because every single customer, I want to go up the ladder. All right. And uh, if you have more questions on this, feel free to email me, joe at imwithdavis.com. It's something, it's, it's a great practice we have in our agency that just really helps us make sure we're bundling everybody's insurance together. Uh, and obviously, the more you put together in one uh, customer's portfolio, longer they're going to stay with you, more premium, etc., etc. So hope you guys found this useful. This is my Ascension or Value Ladder. And uh, once again, you got questions, shoot me an email, joe at imwithdavis.com. I hope you nothing but great success in your business today and uh, make it a great one. Thanks so much.